Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, um, I'm going to be showing you how I made this little white chihuahua. It's for a commission. Uh, so I'll go through the whole process. Uh, the sculpting video, I have one on a chihuahua already, so I might put the second one over on my Patreon. But um, it's pretty much the same thing anyway. Um, but if you want access to that, Patreon link in the description. Uh, but yeah, so this little one is on its way home today. Um, so... He has a sculpy head, uh, ball and socket armature spine, wire legs, resin feet, um, and then a little fluffer tail. So, if you want to see how I made her, then keep watching. Alrighty, so for this sculpt I am using some glass eyes. Now I'm using cabochons for the eyes and I am painting the back of them. Um, just be careful which sort of paint you use because um, sometimes it can have a reaction to your polymer clay or the heat or anything like that. So just bear in mind that uh, sometimes all paints might not be suited for it. Uh, and I seem to have lost um, a lot of the footage for some reason of making this doll, especially sculpting. So the sculpting video is gonna be over on my Patreon. The first chunk of it, for some reason, is missing. Um, it was corrupted for some reason, I couldn't save it. But um, yeah, if you wanna know how I sculpted the a Chihuahua head, I have one on my YouTube anyway. So the head is made from Sculpey Original. Um, Sculpey Original is quite a soft polymer clay so and sometimes brittle if um, you're doing thin bits but I usually use it on my heads because uh, I'm doing quite thick heads I guess and um, and uh, I prefer working with softer clay as well it's like I really like working with monster clay so um, this is like the next best thing is in polymer clay form so I'm just painting out all of the areas that uh, need to be painted so this has already been baked nice and hard uh, and I'm painting all of the bits in uh, a water-based acrylic paint I do usually prime the areas that I'm gonna paint first uh, using a I use a canvas based primer uh, I, I find that works really well for both resin and uh, uh, polymer clay as, as well uh, it's by the brand Derivian Matisse the same brand of pink uh, paint that I'm using here um, and so the nose here that I'm painting I had a reference photo from the commissioner um, so I painted the undertone in this pink color and then I'm gonna go over with this uh, sort of burnt red tone um, can't remember what it's actually called red oxide I think it's called and I'm using just a thin layer because I want that pink uh, peeking through uh, that that initial red coloring um it's too brown or something i say if i painted it solidly so i wanted that pink undertone to come through and then just going around and darkening all of the areas that need to be darkened and shaded uh, but i'll do this again once all of the faux fur has been applied same deal as the as the feet although these ones are made of resin um it's uh, a sculpture that i made out of super sculpey many years ago um and just continued remaking the mold because i really like these um feet uh, so they're perfect for the Chihuahua um, and then I'm going ahead and painting them with those same paints uh, For the little claws. I'm just going around the inner edges of the claws just to get that little pink Coloring in between because uh, the claws were kind of a whitey color um, and then yeah That was the painting done moving on to the faux fur and I'm using this uh, nice It's pretty much the white uh, the white faux fur that I use all the time um, I might be running a little bit low, uh, I need to probably restock this, but it's a good quality uh, faux fur, uh, nice and, it's not too thick and not too thin as well, and it's on a nice woven back, um, so it's easy to work with. So I've just drawn out uh, the patterns for my Chihuahua doll, uh, I, I actually made the pattern, um, considering putting it up on my Patreon, not, not too sure. Um, I might put some of my older patterns that I don't use up on my Patreon as well, in case anybody wants to use them. but. I'll have to think about that and I'll have to go through all of my patterns. So once all of the pieces have been cut out uh, for this doll, I'm going to be sewing it up on a sewing machine. So I pin it first side together and I go around all the edges, uh, leaving the back end open and also the legs and also the neck area. And I'm just going around and cutting little 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 bits into the, the seam of um, the doll. This means you can move it around a bit better, uh, and so it'll pose and there's not too much strain on that seam. So the footage that I lost was um, 
uh, the footage of flipping all the fur inside out and a little bit of the armature and blah blah blah. So basically this this little one has a uh, ball and socket armature for the for the spine and then Y armature for the legs. So once I've inserted all, everything and uh, attached all the pieces, I can go ahead and sew up all of the um, open ends. The armature tutorial and attaching resin pieces to an armature are available in my shop creaturesnap.com. So if you want to know how I do that, you can head over there and uh, find the tutorials in my shop there. So once everything is sewn up using a ladder stitch, I can go ahead and attach the faux fur to the resin. I use a tacky fabric glue, which um, I find it works really well. Um, and then I leave it to dry overnight just to make sure it is nice and adhered. Once that's done, I can go ahead and sew up all of the rest of the doll. Uh, and I usually finish my sewing in the bum hole <laughs> area, the butt area. So that way it's um, nice and concealed as well uh, and making sure that it is secure and everything is properly sewn up and uh, not gonna come apart. I always use a good quality faux fur, so just um, a good quality thread, I should say. Uh, so always um, check out your thread and make sure it's got a good strength. So I decided to paint the inner part of the ear in a pink, so it has that little pink show through, um, using that same uh, pink that I used for the nose. Uh, this way, when I apply the faux fur, you can see a little bit of that pink coming through. You can al also do this using um, the Sculpey Original or Pink Sculpey. Uh, the Sculpey Original, uh, the Sc Super Sculpey, I should say, has a beige color which you can attach some faux fur to. So, speaking of attaching faux fur, this is what it looks like once I've applied everything. Um, I'm going to leave it to dry. Also, needs a bit of a trim, uh, but you can see the doll coming together. Once it's all trimmed, I can go ahead and start cleaning all of the ends up. So that means cleaning up around the the eyes, the nose and the mouth um, and removing any bits that need to be removed or aren't in the right place. Um, and then just repainting all of the areas that need to be repainted and the details that need to be added as well. You can also add any features. I added some whiskers. I've got a, also got a whiskers tutorial available if you want to know how I do them. Um, so any little details like sequins or little rhinestones or patterns or anything like that can be done at this stage. Um, but I added a little bit of uh, shading with a uh, airbrush. I try not to take my camera down to where my airbrush is because I don't want stuff getting in the camera but it's just a pretty simple process of a uh, brushing some color onto the faux fur so that's it from me today guys i hope you enjoyed the video uh thanks to my patrons for supporting me and the commissioner for commissioning me um you can check me out on uh, instagram and facebook at creatures of nat and my shop creatures i'll see you in the next one bye